Here with head coach and general manager, Steve Martinson. Coach, right now we're locked in first place in the Mountain Division. And um, in the Western Conference, Toledo's a little bit out in front, but we're still second. How important for the last third of the season is it to try and get home ice through as many rounds of the playoffs as possible? Well, it's important. I mean, you know, if you don't have it, it's not important, but you want to get it. Um, you know, we've won on the road all year, but it's nice to have that, you know, that deciding game and the travel. And you travel less, you know, when it's 2-3-2, two, two, it's, it's less expensive for the team. So... You know, we want to get it, and, and uh, you know, it's out of our control with Toledo, but Toledo, you know, a lot of things can happen with them too. So we just want to do what we can do and win as many games as possible. Brian Moore played an incredible uh, January with us and then went up to the AHL for a short time, and obviously we're excited to have him back, uh, but maybe he would have liked a longer call-up. What goes into whether a player sticks at the next level or not? Well, they were getting players back. It was an all-star break, so you had players not playing in the NHL, and, and so players were sent down. They had a trade, so he did really well. What it did, it opened eyes for, for, for him for there for this year and next year. I mean, they really liked his game, and, you know, anytime you're a young guy and you go up, it's, you know, it's opportunity. There's two teams at C, and he made the most of it. He was being reassigned before he played the game because of, of, of strictly numbers, and he had a goal and assist, and, you know, like I said, the coaches really liked him, and he played really well. Do you think it's easier to make a team um, out of training camp or in a call-up throughout the year? Well, a call-up is because they need you. Training camp, they don't always need you. It's, how, it's tough to, you know, to push guys out that have signed. I mean, nobody wants to admit too early in the season that you maybe, maybe made a mistake. Um, and those contacts or contracts are guaranteed. So, you know, it, usually you have to wait for an opportunity. And then, you know, I always say it doesn't matter how you get your foot in the door. You just got to do something when you get your foot in. And, and uh, you know, they're – they talked about signing him, and they talked about him for next year, and and uh, so you know he proved that he can play, he can skate at that level. We knew he could skate, and you know they liked his game. He plays hard. Finally, uh, what do you look uh, to do against Tulsa tonight to get the win? Well, we you know we want to be physical and be smart, not take bad penalties. We play him three three games in a row, and you know that's nine straight periods. So we we're matching lines at home the first two two games so you got to outplay the guys you're playing against and because it's going to be you know it's three games of the same you got to make sure that something happens you're not retaliating because you get plenty of opportunity to get the guy back so we just got to go out and play you know play hard play smart Gill's back in the lineup and you know that'll give us a boost so um, I'm just looking forward to get the game going excellent thanks for your time good luck tonight thanks